Okay, 7.6 is going to be talking about parallel lines and being cut by a transversal. Okay, and so when we've got parallel lines and they're cut by another line of transversal, that means we've got some similarities that we need to look at. Okay, so try these. Name a pair of opposite angles. Well, we know angle 1 is opposite angle 3, so we see 1 and 3. And we can also say 2 and 4 is opposite from one another, so 2 and 4. Name a pair of adjacent supplementary angles. Adjacent means besides, so we can say 1 and 2. And we could say that we have 3 and 4. Okay, but we also know that 1 and 4 are adjacent supplementary and 2 and 3. Okay, so we can say that 1 and 4 and we could also say 2 and 3. Okay, They are adjacent supplementary angles as well. This map of Northern Alberta shows that Highway 56 right here and Highway 854 right here are parallel to one another and they're cut by a transversal right here which is Highway 13 which intersects them. Okay, We don't know what angle it is, it doesn't matter, but you can see that they form four angles here and they form four angles there. Now because these two lines are parallel, Highway 856 and 854, there's some similarities between the angles 1, 2, 3, and 4 and 5, 6, 7, and 8. And let's see what they are. Okay, so number one, name pairs of corresponding angles on the diagram. Okay, so hint, two corresponding angles form an F. Okay, so they can form an F like this, or like that, like that, or like that. So they form an F. So corresponding angles on the diagram. Okay, so corresponding angles, if they form an F, okay, they could be angles 2 and 6. Okay, they form an F, 2 and 6. 2 corresponds with 6. We could say that 1 corresponds with 5. 1 corresponds with 5. We could say that 4 corresponds with 8. And we could also say that 3 corresponds with 7. Okay. Compare the measures of the corresponding angles in each pair. So we have 2 and 6, 1 and 5, 4 and 8, 3 and 7. What are they? They all measure the same measure. If you take your protractor and you measure it, they're all the same. Okay. Name the pairs of alternate angles labeled on the diagram. Alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. Okay, so interior means they're between this line and this line. They're on the inside and they're alternate. Means they're opposite side of the transversal. So we could say that angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. We could say that angle 4 and angle 6 are alternate interior angles. Okay, so 3 and 5 and 4 and 6. 3 and 5 and 4 and 6 are alternate interior angles. How about alternate exterior angles? Well, exterior means on the outside of here and on the outside of here and the alternate. So we could say that angle 1 would go with angle 7 and angle 2 would go with angle 8. Okay, so we have 1 and 7 and 2 and 8. 1 and 7 and 2 and 8 would be alternate exterior angles. Compare the measures of the alternate angles in each pair. What do you notice? They are, if you take a protractor, they are also the same measurement. Okay? Okay. So, hint, two interior angles on the same side of the transversal form a C pattern. Okay, they form a C pattern. So if we were to go back to this drawing right here, You can see angles 
3, and 6 form a C pattern, and angles 4 and angle 5 form a C pattern. Okay, you can see the, the C, and here you can see the C. Okay, here's one we didn't look at. Two alternate interior angles form a Z shape. Alternate interior. Okay, so we said that angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. You can see that they form a Z shape. Okay. All right, so let's go back to here. Okay, angles 4 and 5, the interior angles on the same side of traversal. What do you notice? Well, if you were to take a measurement, you would notice that they would form angles 4 and 5. What do you notice? They're supplementary. What does the word supplementary mean? The word supp supplementary, their supplement angles, means they both add up. If you were to take the measurement of angle 4 and 5, they both add up to 180 degrees. Okay, they're supplemental, so they add up. to 180 degrees. Measure the exterior angles, angle 1 and 8, on the same side of the transversal. What do you notice? They are also supplemental angles. They're also supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees as well. Okay? And that's only because uh, two parallel lines cut with the transversal. If they weren't parallel lines, this would not be true. But because they're parallel, okay, parallel lines, and they're cut with the transversal, we can say that by following some of these rules, they're supplementary. Example one, how can you determine if Range Road 183 is parallel to 854? So go back and look at the diagram, Range Road 183. You can see is the dark black line that comes up from the south. Okay, how do we know what's parallel to 854? Well, the solution, are the measures of the corresponding angles equal? And the answer is, yes, they are. Take your protractor and you find that the corresponding angles are equal. The corresponding angles are equal. So the roads must be parallel. Okay? Okay, so what is the relationship between corresponding angles and parallel lines? If a pair of corresponding angles are, I'm just going to use the symbol, this for equal. If they're equal, then the lines are parallel. Or if the lines are parallel, then the corresponding angles are equal. Okay, so I just use these symbols instead of actually writing the word equal, parallel, and whatever. I have to write the word supplementary when it's applicable. D, what is the relationship between alternate angles and parallel lines? Alternate angles. If a pair of alternate angles, okay, if a pair of alternate angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. Or if the lines are parallel, then alternate angles are equal. Okay? What is the relationship between interior angles and parallel lines? Well, if a pair of interior angles are supplemental from above, supplemental or supplementary, then the lines are parallel. Or if the lines are parallel, then the alternate, then the alternate angles are equal. Okay. So example two, at the intersection of Highway 854 and Highway 13, 854 and Highway 13, there are two pairs of opposite angles. What can you say about the measures of the opposite angles? Well, the measures of opposite angles, they are equal. Okay, a line cut by transversal, you just get equal opposite angles. Okay, so go ahead and do the practice.